Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. It's been a while. Um, just had a lot been going on here. I'll get into all that during the shave. Anyways, before I forget them, have three new subscribers, or they're relatively new, and they are T-Long, Trudeau, or Truno, and Perry Birch. If I screwed up your names, guys, I will correct that down in the comments by pinning your names in the comments section. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and on this shave, going to use a razor that is relatively new to the den. And um, we're just going to use some items that, you know, are just items I haven't used in a while. So, let's take a look at the razor, which from the title, I'm sure you can all let you all know what it is, but hang on guys. Ah, there it is. The razor is One Blade Core, um, single edge razor from One Blade. It takes the feather stainless single edge blades um, when you get the razor the core you get it for like 30 bucks it comes with the core a stand and a 10 pack of blades now how I got this one was a gentleman by the name of Ed Smart was on Chris Bailey's um, Facebook page Shave Talk and I was on there one day and, and I saw his post and it said, I have a one blade core that's not getting much love. The first one to say, I want it, gets it. Notice that nobody had commented yet. So I popped on there and I said, I want it. And he said, it's yours. I'll send it out Monday. So thank you very much, Ed. The brush is my Wolf Whiskers Synthetic. Um... In this beautiful little handle and um, you know it's just a great knot the soap it's getting warm so I decided to go with Parasso green mm. or the original awesome sauce and uh, we're gonna be lathering up in my black and silver bowl so let's go ahead and get some lather going. Well, first let me wet the brush. But yeah, I hope you all have been doing well. Um, I just had really, really rough time um, over the past five and a half months or so. Uh, and like I say, I'll get into that a little bit. But anyways, I can't remember if it was in January and I mentioned it in my last video or not. But I'm pretty sure it was in February. And um, we came down with COVID. Luckily, we've had the vaccine. So the COVID was just like a, you know, kind of flu-like. Uh, didn't lose my sense of smell. Didn't go through a lot of the problems that you hear people go through when they got COVID. I might add just a little bit too much water to this, damn it. But then got over that. Did a video using doing, you know, using this one blade for the first time. And I was like, all right, I'll go ahead and I'll edit that out and get it uploaded and today tomorrow or the next day and Tomorrow came and I didn't have a chance to do so. Next day came. All right, that's a ooh, nice creamy lather. Whips up a lot. Um, so I went ahead and I was like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And one moment, let me wipe my face. All right. But, um, 
I was going to do it that night after dinner. And then my mom calls, who lives across the way from us. And she's all, I fell. And she's like almost 80. So, of course, it was like, oh gosh, mom fell. Need to go check her. Went over there. Luckily, she didn't get hurt. Um, her legs were sore for, you know, a number of days. Um, quite a few days, actually. But, uh, she went ahead and, you know, she got over that. But, you know, I went to go pick her up and you always hear people say, when you lift, lift with your legs, not your back. Well, I went ahead and ended up lifting with my back, like a dumbass. But I lifted with my back and um, got my mom up. You know, we got my mom up and uh, I looked at my girlfriend and I'm all, I, I, I gotta go home. I gotta go home. I threw her out my back. So, I was down with my back screwed up for, well, I don't know, about a week, week and a half. And that was almost past. And, then my shoulder I injured years ago started flaring up and that went on for off and on for three and a half months, maybe four. Um, and I mean, just, there was a couple of times when I seriously debated on going to the hospital. Um, they did what they could at my pain management with trigger point injections, um, trying to get that to loosen up and that didn't work. And, and in that time too, I started having flare-ups with my ulcerative colitis and my teeth were going off and so and probably about, well, it wasn't quite, you know, it was long on my shoulder messing up, but I finally got back to snuff, basically. One moment, guys, let me take a drink of water. I'm drinking hard stuff, ice water. But, um, where's it? There it is. But, uh, so I'm finally gotten back to normal, probably about a month or so ago. And, you know, and since pretty much this will be maybe my fifth actual shave this year with a razor. Now, this razor doesn't have a lot of blade exposure. But it's cutting. It's cutting quite good, actually. But, um... They say that you'll get no nicks, cuts, or irritation with this razor. And they did pretty good the first time I used it. Let's see how it does this time. But, yeah. With everything that's been going on for me, I mean, it's been months since I've called a few people. Um, it's been a while since I've spoken with Guy Solis. And, um, didn't speak with my friend Christian, who probably is moving to Las Vegas from Victorville, California. But, um, just, I was in dealing with so much crap. To be quite honest, 
I really didn't feel like talking to a lot of people. I just kind of commiserated in my own misery, I guess. Very nice. It's got decent feedback. All right, first pass down. Let me rinse off here. Or wipe off with my rag. So, I'm working on getting myself back to doing videos for you guys. 147 of y'all. Um, oh, I watched a Kim Surf video today. If you went ahead and he's having a giveaway for his 800th video and a couple of nice things a um, couple of his brushes his Kim Surf signature brushes from DS Cosmetics and a slant razor a DS Cosmetics stainless steel slant razor um, but I guess somebody went ahead and Basically, to Ken Sir's logo, and he's been contacting people saying, You won, or you know, it's basically a phishing scam. So, and Ken's working on, you know, he's reported the dude a bunch of, or the person, whoever it was, a bunch of times. Hang on, guys. Colton, lay down, buddy. All righty. My guide dog. Colton, he likes to whine when I'm not around sometimes. But um, Ken's been reporting them and to YouTube and just it seemed to have been working. So he's got to go ahead and he has a choice either delete the video, which he doesn't want to do. Uh, that's our dumb dog, Dottie. Hmm. Or, uh, You know, delete the video or just go and just keep deleting it every time the guy goes ahead and, and posts this, you know, to somebody. He goes ahead. I mean, Ken's tried everything it sounds like and you know, whoever this person is, it ain't slowed him down. So, and his giveaway is going until June 11th. So, we have a little bit of time. My son Michael has a little bit of a cough. So. Because of everything with the COVID and all that, he got sent home and that was Wednesday. And I was like, well, you can get this filled out by a doctor before he comes back. And we know how long it takes to get into our doctor to get a COVID test. It could be like up to a week or more. So I'm like, yeah, well, that probably ain't happening. So he's going to have to miss the last, what, two days of school. So and he was going to have an ice cream party Friday. So since he can't be there for that. We, my girlfriend, went down, picked up some ice cream, and 
some whipped cream and some maraschino cherries and we had some chocolate sauce here so tonight he ended up basically having his ice cream sundae second pass down He got no cuts so far. I mean, so far as, you know, from the first shave and this shave, is it like, wow, I gotta go out and spend what? 500 bucks, I think it is, for one of the stainless versions. Even if I had all the money in the world, by whatever, I wouldn't spend no $500 on it. No. If I was gonna spend $500 on a stainless steel safety razor, whether it was single edge or double edge, um, sure as heck, or a straight razor, you know, it sure wouldn't be a one blade. I'm getting a little irritated. I got a little irritation down on my neck. So, a few more uses with it and I'll have it down. But, if you want to go ahead and experience the core, or a one blade, I don't know how much the hybrid is, but hey, $30 for the, for this version. It's not bad. Uses the same head as the regular one blade, from what I understand. So, Steve the Daily Shaver, which has kind of been MIA from YouTube for a while. He, um, but he did do a video not long ago, well, a couple of months back, I did watch where he was showing how to, basically talking about a certain type of, it was some computer hardware, I forget what it was, a processor or something, I don't know, but, um, it was a good video. I watched it. So. I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube videos other than, you know, here and there. So. I watched a couple here and there, but that's about it. Need a little bit more work right there. One more guys, I think I might be plugging up my razor. is not as close of a shave as I would like. Um, but I had a lot of growth that I Ended up whacking down with the 
what you want to call them, the clippers. Anyways, let me rinse my face. Not bad, not bad. Um, definitely had to work at it a little bit more than say, I don't know, most of my double edges. Alum. But not a lot of stink. Oh gosh, my eye dog is just whining. All right, so not bad, not bad. Not a lot of sting, not a lot of sting from the alum, which is good. I got no cuts, no nicks, none of that stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, cut away. Um, I'll see y'all back here for the post. All right, guys. Not bad, nice and smooth. Head, nice and smooth, well, mostly. Um, shaved with the leaf with Astro Blades in it. Um, they're on their last years. They need to be changed. But uh, yeah, all in all, it's a pretty, pretty good shave. And as you notice, I shaved my head before the post because I'm tired of putting product on my face and then going ahead and shaving my head and putting product on my head. T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. So, figure screw it. I'll go ahead and just do my dome, do my dome before I come back for the post from now on. Very nice. The aftershave balm is Dove Skin Care for Men aftershave balm. So, not artisan, of course. It's, but it's pretty good. And of course, I use too much. Dang it. One moment, guys. Had to the excess hey the against the grain didn't take off as much as I'm used to with the one blade cork but is it a passable shave yes um, could I go ahead and could I run out and go out on the town with the with the lady and the kid tonight yeah of course I would say if you want to get this one, if you want to get the one blade core to add to your rotation, um, when I used it the first time, I had maybe two, three days growth. So it went through that just fine. So yeah, two, three days growth. It's a great razor. More than that, yeah. Might not be as good a razor as you would hope. We'll go ahead and top this shave up off with Parasol Green Aftershave Lotion. Give it a good shake. Yeah, it felt nice for the menthol. Very good restrictor on these Parasol bottles. Not a lot comes out, which you don't want it going blah 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 out and give you your palm. Got some burn. Uh, menthol's starting to kick in. Nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Anyways, guys, that is the shave. Welcome to the three new subscribers or relatively new subscribers. Y'all have a great day, great evening. I hope y'all had a wonderful Memorial Day. Thank you for, you know, all those who sacrificed the ultimate sacrifice, who gave the ultimate sacrifice to go ahead and give us a free country. And if you're down in Texas, around the Uvalde area, my heart goes out to you. 
um, especially if you're in that community. Um, it was a horrible thing what happened there uh, with that with that shooting. Um, anyways, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Um, you can find my email in my about section. Y'all have a good one. Take it easy. I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye now.